If all goes as planned with city officials, these images of street vending in San Francisco's Mission District will be a thing of the past. To just make it very clear and simple, uh, no vending on Mission Street right now. That is Santiago Lerma, an aide to San Francisco Supervisor Hillary Ronan. The supervisor put out a community newsletter Tuesday saying that starting in November, the city will ban street vending on Mission Street in the Mission District. What we've seen over the last year and a half is uh, Mission Street really being flooded uh, with large-scale fencing organizations. Fencing operations involve the buying and selling of stolen goods. San Francisco Police Chief Bill Scott is well aware of the problems in the area. So we've done operations. We've, we've arrested some fencers, you know, people that are... This is what they do. They buy stolen goods for very little money, and then they sell it on the, on the, on the, you know, the black market, if you will. Lerma says the situation is so bad that workers fear for their safety when asking individuals for permits. To the point where our public works inspectors are now wearing bulletproof vests. Um, while they're walking the street, they are escorted by police. Uh, but that is the level of danger that's out there for city workers. They have been subject to attacks. Uh, assaults, verbal and physical assaults, and so it really makes it difficult for them to do their jobs. Both Chief Scott and some city leaders blame a 2018 state law that they say basically decriminalized street vending for some of the recent problems with stolen goods. Lerma says the city is now working to try to obtain an indoor space in the mission where permitted vendors can legally sell their items. J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.